Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So in the last video, we saw how to install Terraform on your operating system, specifically Windows. For the other operating system, you can uh, follow follow similarly, you know, from their docs as well. In today's video, let's see how to uh, spin up a commerce tool um, project. So we'll show you how to install the commerce tool dependency and uh, load product types from Terraform. So for that, what we'll do is we'll search for LabD Commerce Tool. So those are a team of uh, engineers who have created a provider for commerce tools. Um, when we say provider, it's kind of a library or in Terraform. So if you want to see the source code for that, you can go to GitHub. Here you can find their uh, source code as well. And if you want to see the latest releases, you can see it over here. 1.14.1 is the latest release. So we'll not go in detail into this. Let's go back. Let's open this Terraform registry. That's where we can see all the docs for this particular provider. And the one latest version is shown here, 1.14.1. You can browse the other uh, versions as well from here. You can find all the resource uh, docs as well as <clears throat> as well as datas how to read the datas so to start with we need to install the dependencies we need to install uh, commerce tools uh, you know, provider in our uh, um, we'll be doing it in our local so we need to load it in our local so for that you can click over here you can copy this content as it is and inside this terraform is where all the provider details will go currently it's commerce to provider which we are installing if you are working on azure or something you can uh, load the azure dependencies as well so we'll stick to commerce tool for this video so we'll open um uh, we'll open one of the projects in vs code Let's create a new project called Terraform. So Terraform is created. So let's open this in uh, VS Code. There's some problem with my keypad. So CMD code. So this will uh, open the folder in VS Code. Once the VS Code opens up, we just need to create one file. Let's call it version of provider dot providers dot TF. So TF is the extension used in Terraforms. So let's paste the content we copied. So probably it has not been copied yet. So copy this and and paste it here. So once pasted, we can follow their um, uh, guide as well they are telling us what to do so we just need to you know go to terminal and uh, run terraform in it if you are not sure if terraform is installed you can just type terraform hyphen v it will show if it's installed once installed you just need to load all the dependencies which is available in this providers.tf it basically identifies with this keyword terraform that's the root keyword for terraform from where it will read all the dependencies click on enter and wait for some time to oh, you know load all the dependencies so if you see there will be one folder created so this, this is where all the depend, dependencies will be installed so 
it's kind of similar to node you know in node we have node modules in maven we have uh, all the dependence we have maven for that in java so similarly here this is how all the dependencies are installed so apart from that what we need to do is uh, give the api client info here inside this again this info is already provided in their guide just need to copy this and put it here sorry this is the wrong file just need to copy this and put it here need to replace all the contents with the actual api client info need to generate it from here it's already here so let's go to developer settings once we are in developer settings click on create api client give the name as api even give the name as admin let's select admin client from the drop down it will uh, select auto select whatever is required and click on create api client always make sure to download your client because once uh, this is generated you cannot see it again so it's always tape you know it's uh, suggested to take a backup of this so let's copy each item from there so there are two project keys which is not required replace this project key over here next is the client id copy it here next let's copy the secret secret is copied similarly api url and token url here the auth url is called as token url that's how they are reading it replace api with auth and that's done scope also we need to mention so scope so for this uh, video we'll try to load the product types if i go to product types there is no product types available let's see how to use their product type resource if you see here there is something called as commerce to product type and we can copy their example itself copy this and create a new file so we need to create it here so product type is copied so the product type is copied there are two product types they have been given here let's keep only one and uh, this is how they are reading it looks similar to json but it's not json so they are using is equal to no comma and this is how they are reading key name description this is how the attributes are read and the type of the attributes are mentioned um something like this so apart from that you have you can mention the enums something like this enum values localized enums are given in a pro uh, we have to provide the details like this so you can find all this info from here itself so if you scroll down you'll see how it is uh, you know, what are the equivalent in commerce tool and also they are giving us uh, links to commerce tool docs and uh, so these are all for attribute types this is the one for attribute so block list localized values so this is how it is so we'll not go in detail maybe you can uh, explore it yourself 
and uh, this will not work here because they are trying to read some type which is not created yet so let's remove this attribute from here and save it now what you have to do is you have to type terraform plan in the terminal it will show what are the things uh, that has to be changed um, in the commerce tool project which has been provided in this provider.tf so there is only one change plan to plan one to add zero to change zero to destroy so these are the info which they'll give so it is not yet applied you'll have to run terraform apply for this to you know apply to your commerce tool project if you currently go to uh, commerce tool product types there is nothing here as soon as i run this apply and confirm with yes it will get applied and if i reload this you will see the product type has come here so that's how you load the product type uh, so whenever you are in a new environment you can do a similar thing to spin up that project environment that commercial environment and it will be quick as well you don't have to manually write a lot of codes or you can annoyed of using the impex tool so this way you can do the you know uh, spinning up of uh, the infra commercial project infra and it will be um, in sync as well with all the other environments and always make sure you don't change manually anything in uh, um, you know in your project because it is not suggested some uh, you know some may not work always so suppose this may work if i update something here and uh, click on plan it will say there is one change that you have to do so but it's not suggested to do this uh, it's always suggested to you know manually uh, it is always suggested to do it from this terraform code rather than doing it from manually on the merchant center so it may work for all this uh, writable stuffs, but there are a lot of things which is uh, once uh, which is you know interrelated with other resources. So it's not always suggested to do this. So if I uh, go to autofocus again, that would be remote. So that's how uh, this works on the initial product types. How we can spin up. So uh, if uh, you know we can uh, see the other things in the next video, we can uh, load the project settings as well. So in the next video, let's quickly see how to do it for project settings. So yeah, that's all in the video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, uh, please do hit the like button, subscribe, share, and do uh, you know let me know if there is any issue. You can post in the comment section and do. So yeah, that's all in the video, guys. If you liked it, please do subscribe, like, share, comment. So yeah, let's catch again next video. Until then, see you. Bye.